And ladies and gentlemen, my name is Arcane Static, and welcome back to Alan Wake. When last we left our intrepid hero Alan, he was trying to deal with this thing, and I died like seven times on it. So we're gonna see if we can't figure out how best to do it right now. I can't tell. Fucking, 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 fuck! Ah! Get it, get it, get it, get it, yes! Oh my god. That was intense. I finally got it, though. Finally got it, finally got it. Who boy. Alright. Let's reload this gun a bit. Where... Was that sound? What did it come from? Who's going to try to kill me? Oh, I don't like these sounds. I don't like them. No, sir. I don't like them. Okay, can't have any more revolver. What is that sound? What is that sound? Wish you'd stop doing it, whatever it is. Alright, I've got everything I could possibly need from here. Batteries? Don't need them. Don't need them. Okay, here is a truck. With light on it, no less. That's cool. Alright, alright. Is there anyone in the truck? Some dead guy or something? Alright, we get a driving segment now. Somebody in the truck? Somebody's already in the truck. Somebody's in the backseat of the truck? There is no backseat of the truck. Okay. I had never been this glad to see the sunrise. I had a couple of hours to get to the coal mine. Coal mine, huh? That's where I was going. To get my wife. Wife in coal mine. My m imaginary coal mine wife? Well, good. I'm glad that we've got this thing going on now. We've made some final, er, some progress, finally, after having died to that stupid bulldozer like 11 times. Okay! Today, I would meet the kidnapper, and he would give me Alice. I wouldn't give him any other choice. A drowning man with clutch of a straw. Hmm, good. Okay. Alright, let's see here. The Coal Mine Museum. Let's go this way, but first let's find the coffee that is obviously here somewhere. Because surely there is coffee somewhere. Gotta be coffee somewhere. Dear coffee, where are you? I miss you. It seems like it's been a long time since I've seen you. Love, Alan. Dear coffee, we still haven't met up yet. Is it that you don't like me anymore? Have I been too creepy or something? Love, Alan. Dear Coffee, fine, I don't need you anyway. I don't even think about you anymore. That rich, delicious, hot flavor sliding down the back of my throat like it always did. I don't even think about you. Please come back. Love, Alan. <sighs> All right. Well, let's keep uh, going down this way then. I don't know why I can't just fucking drive the truck this way. And also, aw oh man, I don't get a driving segment? That's no fair. Do I have a gun? Why don't I br Why don't I have my stupid gun? I don't have any inventory right now. I'm going to meet the kidnapper, but I have a shit ton of flares and a gun. Why don't I just bring those with me? That would have been smart. Alan has proven a couple times, at least, that he is not the kind of person who would bring things like that with him. Is this the kidnapper's car? Oh, no, this is what I'm talking about. I don't remember the controls. Okay, there we go. Here's this thing. And we're just gonna sort of... Oh, this is a bad idea. That bridge is out. Ha ha ha. Alright, well, I've got like a, an off-road four-wheel vehicle now, which is kind of rad. Was I supposed to have taken the truck with me? 
Maybe I was supposed to have taken the truck. Off-road four-wheeler is better anyway. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Get out. Get out. Because it looks like there might be some secrets up here. Let's find out! Dum da 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 dum Gonna get me some coffee. Hello, other car. What have I found here? Oh, it's like a sedan thing. So is this just a bit where I get to drive a bunch of different cars? Ah, yes, radio broadcast. This is Pat Main, and you're listening to KBF FM. Folks, I want to apologize for kind of abandoning you to that looping music track last night, but I was detained. You see, I encountered a big shot G-Man with an itchy trigger. Oh, a lesson in manners and a boot in the ass. Not necessarily in that order, either. Now, folks, I know I'm not being very informative here, and I apologize for that. I really should just keep quiet, but I'm just so peeved right now, because some people just shouldn't be carrying badges. I'm yeah. just glad that our Sheriff Breaker was there to straighten things out. And if someone I met last night is listening, let me just say, I'm sorry if my mouth got you in trouble. I'm pretty sure you're not the bad guy here. <laughs> Thanks. Speed, son. I hope you know what you're doing. Now... On a lighter note, I'll be talking to Dr. Nelson all morning. But first, hmm. a little music. Thank you, music. All right, well, that's good to hear. Um. Nobody cares about me because I don't have a good singing voice. We're going to drive down this road. Oh, that was a weird choice of camera. Well, pedal to the metal, Mr. Wake. Slow. Visibility limited. I don't think I'm gonna slow. Though, the controls for cars are a little bit awkward and weird. Also, this car, I should have kept the Jeep, shouldn't I have? Because this one seems like it has trouble going up, uh, up hills. Well, let's park you here. And we'll see if we can't take this sports car. Because it seems like the sports car might have at least a little bit better, uh... I guess it's not really a sports car, is it? dum da 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 dum dum da da dum dum Gonna find whatever secret's up at this tower. More radio? More radio! Welcome back to KBF FM. Hope you enjoyed that tune. Now, Doc, you were talking about life and finding that special someone, that soulmate. Well, you were talking about that. I was saying I don't buy it. Oh, see, to me, that's strange, because I always pegged you as a hopeless romantic. <laughs> you got me there, Pat. <laughs> but I think love's where you look for it. And you need to do a lot of looking, sure. But the idea that there's that one special person out there for you, and if you miss that chance, it's gone forever, and you're forever incomplete. I mean, isn't that depressing? Or... Heck, childish even? Hey, there's plenty of fish in the sea. <laughs> and apparently a fisherman has a fishing analogy for everything, but of course. what you're saying, isn't that a little harsh? Well, no. What I am saying is that your potential for finding that connection isn't limited to what's essentially a chance encounter. How is that harsh? Yeah, well, I guess that's a nice thought, but let me say something personal here. Okay. Now, well, I, I don't disagree with you exactly, but... I can't really fit that together with what I feel, what I, what I felt for something. What am I supposed to get out of this? <laughs> she was the one. She was. And she, I let her drift away from me. Maybe I didn't put in the work. I don't know. But, well, since then, and it, it was a long time ago, but, but since then, there hasn't been anyone. Not like her. Mm -hmm. And I'm not saying I dwell on her or haven't moved on. I like my life. I, I'm not living in the past. But I do miss the way she completed me. Do miss you the way she the heart. completed uh, I'm me. I'm sorry, folks. I had kind of a scary experience last night, and let's just say it's shaken a few things loose. Like my jerk! Alright, well, that was fine. I didn't find anything actually useful up here, though. Is it an astrolab or something? 
Okay, well, going back down then. Doodly doodly taking a car. Yummity do. And hop into this car. So we'd be the like seventh or eighth car I have stolen. Metal of the metal. Floor it. Hang on. Of course, if there is the possibility for it, we have to look for the coffee. That sweet, delicious, beautiful, piping hot, steaming coffee, which belongs in my belly. That is where it belongs, ladies and gentlemen, lest we forget. Let's hop up on here. Hop up. Can't do that. Can't do that. What do we got over here? What's going on in this area? What about in this neck of the woods? I was early. I was supposed to meet the kidnapper at noon in the main building. The coal mine was quiet. It was a museum now. Huh. Okay, maybe I am in the right place and I wasn't going too far. Oh, shit. Balls. Ow. My legs. <laughs> okay, what's over here? I was early. Does that mean that I was supposed to go out and explore more shit first? Aha. Uh -huh. What's this? Mott on the ferry. For Mott, spying on the writer on the ferry had been a disappointment. His boss had made Wake to be something huh? special. But Mott hadn't been impressed. Mott. He'd gotten a good long look at the wife, though, and he liked what he saw. Mott had fantasized about goading Wake into a fight, but it hadn't happened. Still, he'd get his chance to see if the writer had anything in him. He'd been promised as much. I really hope that this game does not do that thing where you just, the wife gets kidnapped and then is sexually assaulted or abused or something like that during that time. Hmm. Didn't get very much sound out of that. Not as much sound as I had expected. Herg it! Hunk it! Crunk it. I also don't. What is that noise? Because that's the noise that generally gives me uh, uh, flares. All right, where's my car? Dear car, please let me get back into you. So that I can drive to the place where I can meet my wife. I really hope that that's not what this game does. That it, like, they kidnap and then do something gross to the wife. Can't it just be a kidnapping for once? I'll park in the visitor parking spot. That seems like the cordial thing to do. What's over here? What's it got? Well, there were some early residents in the area. The true genesis of the town of Bright Falls came with the funding of the Bright Falls Mining Company, the opening of the Bright Falls Coal Mine in 1878. Although the work was hard and dangerous, many immigrants, Germans, Poles, Italians, Finns, and Swedes, among others, worked the mines. Cool. Coffee! Yes! This is what I am talking about. I've been waiting for you to come back to me for so long, baby. Just so long. It's, it's so good to see you again. Oh. Well, lucrative at first, the mining steadily declined in the 20th century. The seams were rich, but hard to get at, and the volcanic activity in the area made the mine chest particularly dangerous. Can I jump through here and get, like, that pickaxe? Use it as a weapon to beat in the face of the, the kidnapper? With whom I am certainly going to be getting into a fight? Hello, manuscript page. What did we get here? With Nightingale gone and the night wind blowing in through the broken studio window, huh. Maine stared at Sarah. The sheriff looked away. Maine's voice shook with barely controlled anger. That boy's doing more drinking than thinking. I hope you know what you're doing, Sarah. He's got a sickness in his eyes. You take my word for it. He wants wait for a reason, and it's not for anything good. Ha ha ha. 
Sarah is the sheriff, I remember now. Alice is my wife. I don't remember the name of the, the waitress girl that I liked so much, but she's rad as well. That's where a fight's gonna happen. In there, isn't it? Fight gonna happen. Oh, cutscene! I didn't want to go outside. Cops had to be looking for me. The new sun turned the place into a sauna. The day dragged on. Different scenarios ran through my mind. Ways of how I'd torture the kidnapper to get Alice back. Hey. Or the different horrible things he could have done to her. Right. I imagined her dead. I yeah. had no way of knowing she was still alive. This sounds about it right. Was killing me. I was running on blind hope. It was Been all there a waste for of time. Literally all day. The bastard never showed up. Ah. All right then. That sucks. Well, let's find out where he. Oh, oh, hang on. Wake. Where the hell are you? Change of plans. You know where Mirror Peak is? It's a big mountain north of where you are. You follow the path from the mine, you can't miss it. There's a lookout point there. I'll be waiting. I'm through being jerked around you by you. You want to see your wife alive? Because if you do, you better watch what you say to me. Do we understand each other? I want to talk to Alice. Yeah, and I want the manuscript. Don't keep me waiting, Wake. Fuck you, dude. Hello? Hello? Like, they've done a... They've I'm done a... Kill it. Really good job of making a really unlikable antagonist. Alright, well. Let's go get to... Oh, fucking what? Oh! It was close. Maybe closer than ever before. What the hell was that? Well, that does it for this episode of Alan Wake. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, for staying and watching. The audio on this one's probably going to be weird because I forgot to set it up the right way. Sorry. But I hope that you enjoyed it anyway. If you did, the like and subscribe buttons are waiting just below this video to uh, continually jerk you around and not have your wife where you said you would, you dirty bastard. You can also follow my socials. That's the Facebook and Twitter in the description box. And if you feel like it, you can throw some support in my direction at that Patreon link that's there as well. Thank you guys very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.